day, it gets harder and harder to avoid breaking news stories happening all over the world. 90% of teenagers are active on at least one social media platform, and the median age for kids getting online is dropping. This makes it very hard for teenagers to not have access to breaking news concerning violence, injustice, wars, pandemics, and much more. All of this is a lot for any person to process, but as a parent, you have a unique opportunity to help teenagers engage in these conversations in a healthier way. Let's talk about how. Number one, don't try to erase headlines. While it may be tempting to try and avoid social media or downplay current events, ignoring these things entirely won't make them go away. Instead, it may just make a teenager think you aren't a person they can talk to about this. Number two, ask them how they feel. Acknowledge current stories that are circulating that day and ask teenagers what they know about this story and how it has affected them. Don't diminish their thoughts or correct them. Simply listen and empathize. Number three, create next steps. Pain and uncertainty in the world can leave us feeling hopeless and helpless. So help teenagers to consider how they can contribute. This can be anything from collecting funds, promoting healthy practices, spreading kindness, and praying for those impacted by tragedy. Number four, limit social media hours. You can't shield teenagers from every piece of bad news in our world. But none of us were built to be absorbing this information 24-7. Be a parent who sets boundaries with your own devices and encourage the teenagers in your life to do the same on a daily basis. As a parent, your job is not to solve all the world's problems, but you can be a guide for teenagers on their journey to understand and interact with the world around them.